Everybody, welcome back. The Sanwa Extravaganza continues, courtesy of SanwaAmerica.com. And here is my beautiful wife, Olenka. What do you Hi think guys. of Sanwa? What do I think about Sanwa? I think it's really cool company and very bright colors they're using. Bright like the white and red. Man, oh man. <laughs> Gotta love it. It's so contrasty. You definitely know you're getting something cool when you see this box. For sure. I always see you very excited when you um, I'm packing this nicely colored boxes always, always excited when it comes to sanwa <laughs> yeah, sure. awesome thanks for showing up saying hi and hi. let's get on with the show keep on testing it's a little early for that okay <laughs> Today we're looking at the clamp meter, the DCM60R, new from Sanwa. Oh man, this is one cool little clamp. Classy small, I ain't kidding, compared to that DCM2000, this thing is tiny. Oh wow. Now can you imagine carrying this around all day? Eventually it's gonna get a little bit cumbersome. Amazing meter, but definitely you know you're carrying something around. One light and portable, hey. Here we go. First impressions are excellent build quality as always with Sanwa. Um, smaller footprint as I mentioned, but not just that, I mean, just feels good in the hand, you know? It has that nice tactile movement with the trigger control. Those conductor jaws, though not that big, definitely big enough for most jobs. Um, this one is made in Taiwan as we can see. And uh, overall, I gotta say, first impressions are small, but powerful. Selector switch has that nice tactile ridges. So if you're wearing gloves, you're outside in the elements, fear not, you'll definitely be able to hit that selector with authority. Samuel gives a pretty cool pouch as well. Um, I don't know if that, you know, it sure feels like it, smells like it, um, but yeah. So included with your purchase is this cool pouch. Of course, we get our amazing calibration certificate. You get this with every Sanwa meter. And you also get a set of Sanwa TL21A test leads. Uh, slightly different than the 25A series. Uh, we looked at a couple of episodes ago. Uh, once again, gold tipped as always. Every Sanwa test lead is gold tipped. And these have a reading of CAT 3, 600 volts. Obviously, take off that shroud, lose a CAT, but um, yeah, what can I say? I just love Sanwa Teslis. I know I go on and on like a broken record, but I think they are freaking awesome. Um, good length as well. Being a clamp, you want to have leads that are able to reach far away because usually your clamp, if you're using a test lead, uh, what you're testing isn't so close. So these are nice and long, really long. And uh, yeah, good stuff. Here's the spec sheet for the DCM60R digital clamp meter. Um, nice and verbose. Pull out, has the pictures, everything you need to get you started. And a spec wise, uh, 600 volts, 600 amps, and 200 ohm. And remember, that is for AC only, so no DC support on the DCM60. Spec wise as well, the jaw opening on this clamp is about 29 millimeters give or take so uh yeah not the widest out there but uh, for small jobs definitely shouldn't be a problem take a closer look at that selector switch starting at the off position current ac up to 600 amps ac volts up to 600 volts resistance and continuity at the top of the meter we have our one touch hole. and at the bottom we have our 2000 count display beneath that we have our common or ground and on the right we have our positive input starting off with ac voltage we are in with the test leads 119.9 volts true rms yes the 60r is true, true rms look at that spot yeah, on hooked up right now to a ceramic heater ac amps and we're pulling in about 5.2 5.3 amps give or take now, of course, the temperature is varying a little bit here, so it goes up and down ever so slightly. But um, yeah, we're sitting at now oh, around 5.6 amps. 
Now let's compare that to that big honking Samwa, the DC M2000, and yeah, 5.6 as well. So uh, spot on. Boy, picture's worth a thousand words, isn't it? Man, oh man, look at this difference in jaws. Holy moly. And right now we also have it hooked up to a MacBook Pro and it's pulling in about 0.2 amps. Let's just try the same thing. And yes, we are in agreement with the 2000, about 0.2 of an amp. All right, quick look at continuity. Stock te Sanwa test leads, here we go, three, two, one. Oh yeah, fast. Not super loud, but not super low. Hey, much better than I expected. Let's try the Masters. Maybe a tad, just it's a minute difference in terms of speed and a, a slightly, a little bit louder as well, but uh, you know, pretty close to the stock test leads. Wow, definitely lower than I thought. Only 56.4 dBAs. Maximum output volume and continuity. Oh, that's pretty low, actually. It certainly is accurate, though. 100 ohms spot on with the precision resistor. And look at this. We can get right down to that 0.5 of an ohm. Not all meters can do that. So in terms of the low resistance, pretty good. Display itself, um, it's very crisp, contrasty. Unfortunately, there is no backlight, so that is, um, yeah, too bad, especially when you're in those low lighting conditions. Uh, definitely a bonus. Um, so, no backlight, beware, but there you go. Now, if I put it up against, and I keep taking out the big brother here just because it's so much fun to compare the two. But if we put them side by side, you can tell quite a difference. Um, we have this big, huge font style here. But honestly, I think the smaller font here just works better for me. Um, anyway, there you go. Back the meter, we have our cat ratings here. 300 volts cat 3, 600 volt cat 2. Um, CE is the only certification logo on here, independent certification. And we're told size-wise, three, I'm sorry, two AAA batteries, 1.5 volt. And once again, made in Taiwan. There you go. So let's take this apart now. Have a little peek under the hood two long Phillips screws to lift it off and we'll just pull it apart ever so gently. There we go. Okay, yeah, here we are. So starting off with that uh, recessed back, um, no shielding, nice quality plastic housing though. Um, of course, you know, San Juan never disappoints in this department. Enough to be said with that. So here we are, mm -mm, interesting. Let's start where those two input jacks are at the bottom. Wow, look at those globs of solder. They are on there beautifully. Oh man, nice, nice. Definitely not shy in the solder department. Good stuff. Now that's sort of a motherboard here, or daughter board rather. And uh, underneath that, you see we've got a PTC, a nice big chunky one. And it looks like we've also got another uh, MOV and perhaps another PTC down there as well. So uh, they are definitely thinking about that input protection here on the 60R. All right, moving up the line, we have our battery housing here. In this case, it's a couple of triple A's. One point five. along a little bit higher. There we are, all SMD related components. But take a look, take a really good look. What do you see? Mm-hmm, that's right. We have a nice metallic spring. We have a nice um, metal rivet screw standoff here. And inside as well, we have, and it's really hard to see, but, uh, Anyway, long story short, no plastic, no plastic going on here. Um, a lot of times in the multimeters, even expensive ones, you'll see them get away with a plastic housing that'll act as a spring mechanism. Not great, especially if this is gonna be used and abused. Here again, Sanwa stepping up the plate, putting in something that's definitely gonna be a little bit more uh, long lasting than a piece of plastic. So good job, Sanwa. And of course, we have the wires that connect through to the conductor and there is how it's all working. Already gonna put it back together, come back with my closing thoughts. Closing thoughts on the Samwa DCM60R. I like it. Yes, it is not a do-all be everything clamp. No, it ain't that, that's for darn sure. But what it does, it does really well. 
definitely would like to see that resistance range improved and um, continuity wise that's just a little bit low if you're in a factory or some sort of a loud area good luck trying to hear that especially without any visual continuity to boot Build quality was Sanwa through and through. That interior was absolutely gorgeous. And I discovered a couple more metal inlays. So generally you're getting a really high quality build clamp. Plastic housing, but it's not plastic inside. Hey, let's face it, how many people actually use that DC clamp? I don't know, but I'll tell you, if you have this and you're a weekend kind of a guy, or maybe an electrician who just wants a good solid AC clamp to have on his belt, look no further than the DCM60R. I think this is one really good value, price-wise, totally fair and above board. And this is definitely one powerful, mighty little clamp that can go a long way. The DCM60R clamp meter gets a solid 3.5 out of five stars. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching this review, everybody. More good stuff coming on the channel. Sanwa exclusive continues. Oh yeah. Thank you SanwaAmerica.com for bringing us all these test instruments. Man, oh man, what a week. Till the next one, keep on testing.